Art historians attribute Russian painter Vasily Kandinsky with painting the first purely abstract artwork. The concept of abstraction, accompanied by the range of styles in which Kandinsky painted, accounts for the mystification surrounding his identity as a modern artist. In this lesson, we will pull back the veil to reveal the drive behind creating abstract art, as well as look at the different styles of Kandinsky against their historical background. Kandinsky began his career as an artist later in life than most, at around the age of 30. The first period of his artistic career, from approximately 1896 to 1909, is marked by a style akin to post-impressionism. Around the turn of the century, he witnessed this new kind of art coming out of France. The trend toward abstraction, accompanied by the evocative use of color, inspired Kandinsky. He was particularly drawn to the works of French painter Claude Monet. Perhaps Kandinsky was so attracted to Monet because, more so than any of his contemporaries, his work showed how color could be an expression of mood apart from the objects they represented in paint on canvas. Kandinsky associated representational painting with materialist values and abstraction with spirituality. Look at a painting by Monet, such as a sunrise. Now imagine that you had never seen a sunrise, never seen the ocean. The sun becomes an orange globe. The waves are just lines. Kandinsky wrote, Color is key. The eye is the hammer. The soul is the piano with its many chords. The artist is the hand that, by touching this or that key, sets the soul vibrating automatically. Kandinsky sought to move away from the representation of objects to a pure expression of what he called inner necessity. He wrote, The inner need is built up of three mystical elements, personality, style dictated by the zeitgeist, and pure artistry. Kandinsky's theory of art based in inner necessity constructs an image of the artist as a representative of the cultural, historical, and political zeitgeist, or spirit of the times. He is a spiritual warrior whose mission it is to express himself with honesty and passion. The second distinct period of Kandinsky's work solidified in his association with the short-lived German art collective called the Blue Rider. Along with German artist Franz Marc, Kandinsky and the Blue Rider group published an almanac of artwork and writing, as well as staged exhibitions between 1911 and 1914. The group took its name from Kandinsky's 1903 painting, referring to the use of color more so than its style of composition. Kandinsky and the members of Blue Rider were united through their philosophy of color, spirituality, and spontaneity. They believed that painting could be like improvisational music and composition, and that color could be used in composition like tones in an orchestra. But of utmost importance was the practice of art as spiritual enrichment, expression, and exploration. During this period, he began to refer to his paintings as improvisations or compositions, much like music. And just like music can convey emotions and feelings that the listener will associate with visual images, Kandinsky believed that color could be used in composition distinct from the form. Color could express a pure emotion rather than simply depict a hue of a representation object or even a visual form. Think of the pink in a sunset. That hue can mean something to you without relation to the sky. Now imagine you saw that same hue in a painting. Does it mean the same thing when splattered on a canvas as it did when you saw it in the sky? Kandinsky's career took a third distinct shift when he moved back to Germany in 1922 to join the faculty of the Bauhaus. Literally translated as School for Building, Bauhaus was an art school founded by Walter Gropius in 1919. The school's philosophy flowed from the concept of the total work of art, the idea that all art should be brought together. Architecture, fine arts, crafts, and design were all taught at the school. The philosophy and style that flourished at the school had a profound impact on art and architecture, eventually evolving into a distinct movement in modern design characterized by functionalism, purity of form, and geometric lines. During this period, Kandinsky explored ways to synthesize his art. In explorations of pure form and composition and color, he sought to engineer a universal language of abstract art. 
Going hand in hand with the concept of the total work of art, we see during this period the transition of painterly compositions into the architectural movement of Bauhaus, as well as the shift in architectural style from the ornate, Gothic and Victorian, to the simplified modern style of functionalism. Vasily Kandinsky was a Russian artist whose style evolved over three distinct periods in his life. An early phase of Impressionism was inspired by his love for Monet's evocative use of color. The Blue Rider, a short-lived German art group, saw a shift in Kandinsky's style to experimentations in spontaneous compositions. Kandinsky's affiliation with Bauhaus, a German school for art, design, and architecture, saw yet another shift of essential form and geometry toward the construction of a total work of art, an approach to artistic production that ignored the distinctions between media. Color, music, sculpture, painting, it was all material at the service of the artist toward the expression of his inner necessity. Kandinsky approached art-making as a form of spiritual expression and exploration. <laughs> ¶¶ 